traffic alert now. The Florida Highway Patrol targeting speeders on one of our busiest bridges. You may have seen them. Troopers lined up, ready to go, ticketing speeders on the Buckman Bridge. The FHP says it's targeting drivers specifically on one side of the bridge. And Channel 4 Scott Johnson is joining us live at the base of the bridge. And Scott, I understand this is where a lot of people have been getting tickets. Yeah, it is. This is the area that goes off the U.S. 17 into Clay County. They've been ticketing people on this side because over on the Mandarin side of the bridge, there's a lot of construction. They frankly don't have enough room to put their cars down to pull people over. But when you have driven the road a lot of times over the last couple of weeks, it's not just one, two, three, or even four. It's almost a dozen troopers there just pulling people over almost constantly. It's no secret that sometimes drivers on the Buckman have a lead foot or maybe get distracted at times. And FHP is responding. Look at this Instagram post by the department with what they call the black and tan caterpillar. Around 10 cruisers just waiting to pull people over. Have you seen they've had a bunch of troopers stringing at the yes. end? Yes. Did you see that? I saw that sting. What did you think of that? I was like, they ought to make money. Drivers couldn't miss the massive pullover effort, which some called a speed trap that went on earlier this week and last week. And troopers say it won't end anytime soon. Please. Well, good. That's good. Why do you say that? Because it, maybe it'll slow people down and they won't kill somebody else and themselves. Too many people going fast and dangerous here? Too many people. Hey, they're doing their job, though. Keep people safe? Trying to, anyways. And this is not radar. A pilot is targeting speeders from above who alerts troopers on the ground at the end of the bridge. So even though you don't see a cop on the bridge and you think you can drive 80, think again. I mean, I think it's they're trying to get extra money for the city, and I, I get that to a point, but at the, time, at the same time, isn't there more important things to worry about? Was it kind of excessive, the amount of cops there? Absolutely it was. And so they do these all over. They've been really hitting the Buckman in the last few weeks when they have the pilot available. He's out of Lake City. So uh, watch for it, be aware, but they do put signs up, electronic signs that say this area is enforced by radar from above. So just keep that in mind. We're live just at the base of the Buckman, Scott Johnson Channel for the local station. Scott, before you go, have these types of enforcements had any long-term benefits for traffic safety, or is this just when the troopers are out there that it helps? Oh, they have. They've done studies, Kent, over the last few years when they've done enforcements like these. In fact, they've gauged the miles per hour, the average miles per hour on the Buckman Bridge. It has gone down by three miles an hour on average since they've started stepping up enforcement. Kent? Thank you. Scott Johnson reporting live for us tonight from the Buckman Bridge.